Live from the News Center, this is News Channel 8 on your side at 11, Weekend Edition. It's the early winter storm system that just won't let up. Tonight, even folks in the Bay Area are feeling the chill. Plus, taking center stage, presidential hopefuls meet near Orlando for the state's Democratic Convention. Good evening, I'm Narisa Press. Josh Thomas has the night off. We begin tonight with eight on your side storm team coverage. The first major winter storm of the season is pummeling parts of the northeast with snow, ice, and wicked 40 mile per hour winds. The tail end of the system is also sweeping south, and tonight the Sunshine State is feeling the chill. Meteorologist Jennifer Hill begins tonight's eight on your side storm team coverage from the forecast center. Jen? That's right. We are all bracing for a very cold evening. Temperatures already near freezing in some parts of Florida. Our temperatures right now. Not too bad, but we are going to be slipping down to about 39 degrees in Tampa. Brooksville will be near freezing, as will Inverness. Right now, the winds are at north at 9 miles an hour. What we're concerned about is the fact that the winds are dying down. Once the winds start to die down and we reach zero, that means we'll see a lot of radiational cooling. Dew point is 36 degrees. If you are heading outside right now, the wind chill, because of that wind of the north at 9 miles an hour, will make it feel like temperatures are in the 30s. Here's a look at the forecast lows for tonight. You can see the northern areas, especially Citrus County, also Hernando County, even parts of Pasco County will see temperatures near freezing tonight. Other areas in the upper 30s along the beaches a little bit more temperate with lows down to about 40 to 43 degrees. There is a warm-up coming our way for tomorrow. We will see lots of sunshine. I'll have more on that. The snow in the northeast and also Tropical Storm Odette coming up in just a bit. All right. Thank you very much, Jen. Sure. The storm is blamed for at least eight traffic deaths in the Northeast. The powerful blizzard blanketed Boston and made a mess of Philadelphia, Baltimore, and Washington. Up and down the northeastern coast, from Pennsylvania to Maine, plowing, shoveling, de-icing are all-day duties. In Central Park, New York City, snow fell at an average inch an hour. Blizzard conditions whipped snow from Pittsburgh to parts of New England. Wind gusts up to 40 miles per hour or higher made walking outside very difficult. It's tough. It's very windy. So I'm getting it right in the forehead here. Driving conditions even worse. Cars crawled on roadways covered with sheets of ice. Accidents inevitable. In Brooklyn, New York, one car skidded off a road over a bridge and into a canal. In Connecticut, a tour bus overturned. For travelers, patience was key. At Boston's Logan Airport, more than 350 flights canceled. Blizzard-like conditions shut down the airport four times. Total number of canceled flights along the eastern seaboard today, more than 1,300. This always seems to happen right when I have big travel plans. But most folks take the positive route and just give in to Mother Nature's nasty ways. You know, read, listen to music, sit by the fire. It's not bad. A good way to look at things, considering forecasters are predicting much more to come. I think it's so surprising the fact that uh, we're getting so much snowfall, one to two feet of snowfall, so early in the year. It's only early December. The blast of winter weather is also slowing down air travel in and out of the Bay Area. We checked in with Tampa International Airport this evening. A spokesperson tells us about a dozen flights were canceled and another half dozen were delayed. Let's check your flight before heading to the airport. Just log on to TVO.com. Under links we mentioned, click on Tampa International Airport Flights. In an aid on your side, Voice of the Voter report. Florida's Democratic Convention is in full swing tonight. Nine hopefuls take center stage in Lake Buena Vista, hoping to build support for their presidential bids. News Channel 8's Peter Bernard joins us now from Disney's Coronado Springs Resort near Orlando. And Peter, Florida is expected to be battleground state, the battleground state in the fall election, making this weekend very important. Is that what you're feeling out there? Oh, yes, definitely, Narisa. Democrats are well aware of Florida's importance, and with 27 electoral votes up for grabs, they're not taking any chances at all. Tonight, presidential candidates are putting their best out for all to see. The Democratic get-together in Orlando is called La Fiesta, but the task at hand is serious. They want to put a Democrat in the White House. The front runner in most polls is Vermont Governor Howard Dean, who, like many other candidates, spent much of his time attacking Bush policies. 
I think the kinds of positions that I have taken in my time in Vermont make me in the center of where Americans are, and I think this president's very far to the right. A well-known name in D.C. and across the nation, candidate Dick Gephardt took jabs at the incumbent president. Like father, like son, four years and he's done. All this Bush bashing played well among the gathered Democrats. Some delegates hope the message to voters can be refined. If we wanted to be voting for Republicans, we'd vote for the real thing. So I think Democrats need to be Democrats. Retired General Wesley Clark has a large contingent of supporters at the meeting. Arriving to a cheering throng, he sounded confident. And with your help, we're going to make America safe, secure, and free for our democracy. Some observers noted the reception for Senator John Kerry seemed lukewarm. And I intend to win the state of Florida when we take the presidency back November 2nd. 2004. Political analyst Dr. Susan McManus says by applause, it appears Dean is the winner. But the campaigning has just begun. They understand it's going to be a long haul and a, it's going to be a hard, long fight in Florida. But this convention has done a lot to put that shot of adrenaline in their arm and to give them the energy to, for the long haul. And Democrats have another important goal for 2004, putting a Democrat in office being vacated by outgoing Senator Bob Graham. Some of those candidates will be taking to the podium starting tomorrow. Narisa? Peter, have the delegates in Orlando heard from all the presidential candidates? They have not. There are three they haven't heard from. Carol Mosley Braun apparently has the flu. Senator Joe Lieberman, being a Jewish, a person of Jewish descent, is not here today because he's um, uh, observing his uh, Jewish faith. And Reverend Al Sharpton is making appearance on Saturday Night Live, so you can catch him tonight on that. All three are supposed to show up tomorrow. That's right. I was wondering if he would be in two places at one time, but I guess not. We can catch that after the news tonight. Okay, thanks a lot, Peter. Yep. If the 2004 Democratic primary were held today, 21% of Floridians say they'd vote for Senator Joe Lieberman, and that's according to a recent Mason-Dixon poll. 17% would vote for Howard Dean, and 14% would give Wesley Clark the nod. Support is divided among the rest of the candidates, and 23% are undecided. The poll has a margin of error of plus or minus 5%. Hillsborough deputies are looking for a gunman who shot two people during an armed robbery tonight. It happened at the Wright Fuel gas station at the corner of Himes Avenue and Waters Avenue around 6 o'clock. Deputies say a masked gunman entered the station and demanded money. When the clerk told him he couldn't open the cash register, he got angry and fired his gun. The bullet went through the man and hit a female clerk. Paramedics took them both to Tampa General Hospital, and they are expected to recover. The gunman, though, is still on the loose. In an 8 on your side crime tracker report, the party's over for dozens of cruise passengers. They returned to the Bay Area only to become victims of crime. Someone broke into 30 vehicles sometime Thursday at the long-term parking garage near the port of Tampa. The cars and trucks were vandalized, and several had radios and cash taken from them. Jason Edmondson returned from his seven-day Nordic Empress cruise today to find his truck had been broken into. He says security in the garage just wasn't tight enough. You know, you pay almost, you know, 70 bucks to depart, you know, seven days, and you expect somebody to be watching. You know, you don't expect to come back and have your truck broken into. Other passengers also wondered why their cars weren't protected, but a Port Authority spokeswoman says there is 24-hour roving security in the garage. All the passengers will be reimbursed for parking fees, and the port is paying for broken glass windows and mechanical repairs. In an aid on your side medical alert fighting the flu, the major vaccine makers say their shelves are bare. Now, some states are running out of shots, while others are still stocked. And searching for a gunman, the latest twist in the Ohio investigation shuts down a major interstate. Next. Now, for the first time ever, we're inviting you to become an honorary member of the Canes Furniture family. Anyone with a family member that works at Canes has always enjoyed special discount pricing on our huge selection of furniture. And for one special weekend sale, you too can enjoy an employee family discount on almost everything in the store. Don't miss your chance to buy furniture, bedding, and accessories at employee family discounts. Get to Canes Furniture's employee family discount sale this weekend. We'll treat you like family. It's time to welcome the people we truly love, to celebrate our traditions when we give the things they absolutely love.
Above all, it's time to raise our voices in joy. From the tiniest wishes to the largest celebrations. Happy holidays from Dillard's. WFLA and the Tampa Tribune are wrapping the magic of Disney and the joy of the season into one holiday package. You could win passes to holidays around the world and Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party. Even a downtown Disney shopping spree to enjoy the festival of seasons, plus a Disney resort stay. To enter, watch for an entry form in the Tampa Tribune or send a postcard to Share the Joy, P.O. Box 191, Tampa, Florida, 33601. Share the joy of Disney traditions. Last Thanksgiving, about two million people tried to deep fat fry their turkey. Fifteen succeeded in setting their houses on fire. At Christmas, there was a lot of driving over the river and through the woods and a little bit of skidding on the ice and taking out Grandma's garage door. So while you're celebrating, Allstate will be standing by. Trouble never takes the holiday. Neither should your insurance. That's Allstate, Stan. Are you in good hands? Every Schlage lock is built on one simple premise. You can never have too much security. Which is why no one gets past the Schlage lock, unless you want them to. Stop them with the Schlage. Closed captioning brought to you by... Belts and Ruth, a law firm representing victims of nursing home neglect. Call today for a free appointment. You're watching News Channel 8 on your side. In an 8 on your side medical alert, health officials across the country are working together to make sure there are enough flu shots to go around. The Centers for Disease Control says as many as 13 states have widespread flu outbreaks, and the nation's two major flu vaccine producers have shipped out all of the flu shots on their shelves. Now the high demand for vaccinations has health officials reevaluating to see which states need shots and which states are overstocked. Florida is one of the states still supplied with vaccines. In tonight's Iraq Watch, Secretary of Defense Donald Rumsfeld is getting a first-hand look at efforts to stabilize the country. This is Rumsfeld's third trip to Iraq and he's come under fire over post-war planning. During this visit, Rumsfeld observed a training exercise for Iraqi security forces. He wants to accelerate the program and says the sooner Iraqis can take responsibility for their own security, the sooner U.S. troops can withdraw. Nine children are dead after an American air raid in southern Afghanistan. U.S. military officials say an A-10 aircraft attacked a site south of Ghazni where a known terrorist was hiding. Ground forces found the terrorist body along with the children's bodies after the raid. 23 miles of Ohio interstate are back open right now, but earlier tonight, investigators turned traffic away while they combed for clues. For a couple of hours tonight, investigators shut down I-270 while they used lasers to determine if a shooter could be firing from bridges or overpasses. Someone has fired shots on or near I-270 a total of 14 times since May. One woman died last month when a bullet pierced the car she rode in. Winter's first major storm is dumping inches of snow in the northeast and more could be on the way. Meteorologist Jennifer Hill joins us next with the latest on the winter blast. Plus, a look at our own major cool down. Signature Statement 41. No American should have to wait until the last minute to beautify their home for the holidays. Impress your guests and entertain in style this season. 100% Italian leather. Sofa and love seat or sofa chair and ottoman, just $8.99. This all-wood curio, only $1.99. And hundreds of great holiday gifts in our home accents boutique. This centerpiece candle holder, only $29. Why wait? Get your home ready for the holidays today. Don't compromise on quality, style, or price. American Signature Home. Change the way you live. One news team exposes some of hospitals' dirtiest secrets. If you had known... I would have not had my surgery there. One news team uncovers a system that allows sex offenders to hide from the police. Do you have any idea where he went? I have no idea. One team works with partners, the Tampa Tribune, to break big stories. News Channel 8 and the Tampa Tribune have spent weeks investigating the industry. News Channel 8. On your side.
Tropical storm Odette already having an effect in the Dominican Republic tonight. The storm's very strong winds are threatening mudslides in many areas, and you can also see some flooded streets as well. Today, officials began evacuating residents along the banks of the rivers. And the other problem we're experiencing with the storm are also seas that are two to four feet above normal and some strong waves. Our weather here, though, not tropical, but very cold. 39 degrees, a forecast low at 7 a.m. at noon. 62 degrees, a sunrise at 7.08. Right now, it's 46 degrees, winds of the north at 9 miles an hour. A little bit cooler in Brooksville, already at 38 degrees. Warm in St. Petersburg, 51, 43 in Lakeland, and 44 right now in Winter Haven. Here is a look at Odette as it's now making landfall in Hispaniola. You can see the storm slowing down a little bit once it hits the Atlantic. It's forecast to take a quick little forward motion there. So a little bit slow right now. The problem with it being over land is that a lot of this island is deforested. So the concern is that we could see some mudslides because of that. If you're tracking Odette, 18.3 north, 71.1 west with those winds right now at 50 miles an hour. You can see that forecast track, then taking it far out into the Atlantic away from land. And here's a look at the tropical storm warnings up for Hispaniola, also for the southeast Bahamas. And we, have, of course, have our cold weather to deal with. Freezing temperatures possible, especially north of the Bay Area. There is a freeze warning up tonight for Levy County. Area south of there will see temperatures in the 30s. But tomorrow afternoon, high pressures building in. We'll get more of a temperate northeasterly flow. That'll allow temperatures to come up a little bit to about 65 degrees, which is still below average for this time of year. Here, a look at the forecast lows across the area. Of course, colder up north, a little bit warmer along the waters. When you go inland, temperatures will be in the upper 30s. So a very cold night for the Bay Area. Along the beaches tomorrow, temperatures will be ranging from 63 to 65 degrees. A little bit warmer inland as we're away from that water and the temperate there. So we'll see temperatures near 67 degrees in Arcadia and 63 in Inverness. Buck's forecast for tomorrow, 1 o'clock is kickoff time, 56 degrees under sunny skies, but fairly cool, especially for New Orleans. And here's a look at some very cold weather. We have a nor'easter blowing in the northeast. You can see that circulation there, counterclockwise. You can see the, wa the warm ocean there, water meeting that very cold air, bringing as much as two feet of snow to some areas. New York City received a foot of snow today. So we have snow there. We also have a big storm brewing out west. That's bringing snow to the Sierra Nevada. And you can also see very heavy rains falling in Idaho this evening. Forecast lows at west 30s and 40s. And of course, very chilly up north as they're dealing with all that snow. And the forecast highs for tomorrow cool over much of the country. Uh, there is a finger of warm air heading up into South Dakota. Here's a look at our morning low again, 39 degrees, so not too warm. By the afternoon, a little bit warmer, 65 degrees with plenty of sunshine. Here's a look at the marine forecast. Winds much calmer than they were today at 15 knots. Seven-day forecast calls for another cold front to come through, and that'll be on Wednesday. That'll bring us a 30% chance of showers. But this cold front, not as cold as that last one only bringing temperatures down into the 50s instead of the 30s. Sheesh. There's a lot going on today in weather, I can That's tell right. you. That's right, you're busy. Yep. Okay, thanks a lot, Jen. Well, coming up, Florida and Florida State try to stay undefeated on the basketball court. Plus, can the Lightning win a game for the first time in two weeks? Dave has those stories next in sports. I'm Jeffy Peterson with the Buck fans on Bourbon Street. The record may not be great, but the fan support still is. Coming up, we'll hear from the fans and our one-on-one -on -one with Coach Gruden. Stay with us. Question. What do you get when you take food, booze, movies, music, girls, gadgets, martinis, and me, your crazy, wild child host? The answer? The spot. It's a hot news show you can see every Saturday night right here on Channel 8. So if you're looking for action, adventure, excitement, check out The Spot. Saturday night after Saturday Night Live right here on Channel 8. I'll see you on The Spot. It's Stadium Toyota's fall closeout event. Drive today with zero down and make no payments for 90 days. At Stadium Toyota, we make car buying fun and fast. So get your price and payment in 15 minutes. Delivery in just one hour with approved credit. And when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter what you owe. Save thousands during our huge fall closeout on every new and certified pre-owned Toyota in stock. And ask about our Tires for Life program. Now that's Express. Express yourself. Get to Stadium Toyota's fall closeout today. Del Mabry just north of the stadium. You know that sexy little black dress you love so much? We make one for your living room. 
The Vita chair from Lazy Boy. The new look of comfort. Just in time for holiday gift giving. Season of savings. Where you get to watch someone open their favorite present over and over again. Save today at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Okay. Mm -hmm. Just straight to us, huh? Yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> that was a little surprise. It's sports time, so. so we're, we're talking about uh, the Lightning yeah. here, hoping that they win uh -huh. something. Exactly. They, well, the good thing is they got in under that uh, bad snowstorm out there in the mm -hmm. Northeast, so safe and sound and uh, ready to play a little hockey. And I'll tell you about it right now. Okay, sounds All good. All right, since the Lightning are stuck in a six-game winless streak, this part of the schedule that finds them on the road for six of the next seven games couldn't have come at a worse time. But the Bulls still had to deal with it beginning tonight at Buffalo. We go to uh, the frigid northeast and a scary moment early on. Watch Dan Boyle getting checked hard into the boards. However, he was able to get up and skate off under his own power. Good news there. Now, first period, one nothing Buffalo until Dimitri Afanasenkov with the goal right there to tie the game at one with just 6.8 seconds to go in the period. Then in the second, just as the power play ended, Dave Andrichuk Camping out on the doorstep, stuffs in the rebound, they get 2-1 bolts as they snap that six-game winless streak, 3-1. Afterwards, John Tortorella said, guys gave a pretty good effort in the last 40. Third. Last 40, yes. Last 40. First 20, no chance. Uh, uh, I thought we were sound asleep the first 20. And I, and I don't want to put a negative on this, but uh, the way they battle back the next 40, we got good people in this room, Paul. This is something we've talked about. We have good people. Yes, they do. Now, barring a collapse of monumental proportions by several teams, the loser of tomorrow's Bucks saints game will be out of the playoff picture. News Channel 8's J.P. Peterson is in New Orleans and has more on what Tampa Bay hopes is a big time in the Big Easy. The Buccaneers arrived to their French Quarter Hotel this evening to frigid temperatures in the low 40s. The team had about four hours to explore the streets, maybe sample some of the cuisine. Then meetings began at 7.30 and through the night. But plenty of Buccaneer fans on Bourbon Street and Coach John Gruden hoping some of the fans might visit the voodoo doctors and change the karma of his football team. We could use that. Uh, <laughs> we're excited. We feel like uh, uh, all the voodoo doctors in New Orleans, uh, anybody that can help us, we, we'd take any help we can get. On Bourbon Street, the Buck fans were in Super Bowl form Saturday night. Despite the Bucks' 5-7 and seven record, these fans certainly not jumping off the bandwagon. I think they lack passion this year. They lack passion? Yeah, but I, I love the team no matter what. I'm not a bandwagon. So are you a little disappointed in your team, or are you just here for the party? Disappointed in a way, but the Bucks will not lose three in a row to New Orleans. No, nope. they already, they've already lost three in a row. This will be four. All right, they won't they will lose four in a okay, row. Okay, one four in a row. And some Buck fans have a very definite opinion on what went wrong and who's to blame? Judging from the showing here on Bourbon Street tonight, the Bucks should have plenty of fan support when they kick off in the Superdome at 1 o'clock on Sunday as they try to get their mojo back and beat the Saints for the first time in four tries. With the Buccaneer fans and the Bucks in New Orleans, J.P. Peterson, News Channel 8 Sports. Thanks, J.P. <laughs> have fun. Now, number two, Florida has a big week ahead with games against former national champion Maryland and Billy Donovan's teacher-pupil contest against Rick Pitino and Louisville. But today, the only team Billy the Kid was worried about was Stetson. That would be the Hatters. We're going to go to Gainesville sure for the highlights. Really, Florida, no problem. Jumping out to a quick 7-0 lead. Matt Walsh, one of his eight assists to Manel Colas with the flush. 37-25. Gators at the break. Second half, much more the same. Florida spreads the floor. Christian Dreyer spots up. Bam, there's your three. 44-28, Florida. The big hero in the afternoon, not those guys, but Anthony Roberson. He had a game I-18, including this trifecta. Florida now 5-0. They roll 74-61. In Tallahassee, Leonard Hamilton was trying to lead FSU to its first 7-0 start in 15 years against Fairleigh Dickinson. Look at 6'10", Alexander Johnson getting funky with the jam. 30-21. Knowles. Then at the end of the first half, some more good stuff for Florida State. Tim Pickett at three threes, including this one. Money. 43-23. Florida State at the break. Pickett a team high. 15. Von Wafer chipped in with a career high 13. The freshman, as you're going to find out here, has some pretty good hops. 
Thank you very much. Florida State now 7-0. They roll 83-46. One other college game to talk about. Nebraska takes care of USF. The Bulls fall to 3-2 on the season, shooting just 2 for 19 from three-point range. 75-52 is that final. That's sports. Okay, you did your job. I did. Thank you very much, Anytime. Dave. Anytime. <laughs> and we'll be right back. We could build 10,000 new schools or hire almost 2 million new teachers. We could rebuild our electric grid. We could insure more of our children. George Bush is going to spend $87 billion more in Iraq. But after almost three years, where's his plan for taking care of America? The truth is, we're not being led. We're being misled. Enjoy it out there. Oh, I will. Go get them. <laughs> <laughs> the new 2004 Discovery with permanent four-wheel drive and a powerful V8 engine. First timers. You gotta love them. <laughs> Begin your adventure at a local Land Rover Center. The 2004 Discovery. Nicely equipped from $3.99 a month. Rose Digo is ready to satisfy the demands of I Need It Now holiday shoppers. Our warehouse is filled with over 100,000 rooms of furniture ready to deliver in time for the holidays. Plus, we've extended our no-interest finance offer until 9 p.m. Monday, December 8th. That's no money down, no minimum purchase, and no interest until January 2007. Just make 37 small monthly payments. Rooms to Go actually pays your interest until January 2007. You get your holiday furniture now only at Rooms to Go. Be a part of the exciting 8 on Your Side Health and Fitness Expo coming to the Tampa Convention Center in late January 2004. In its fourth year, this event provides important information and activities to over 30,000 attendees. This will give your business the opportunity to feature your product or service to this captive group. This event will be promoted by the strength of News Channel 8, the Tampa Tribune, and TBO.com. We invite you to partner with us by calling 813-225-2720. Here's a look at your winning numbers. Cash 3, 1, 2, 2. Play 4, 3, 2, 8, 6. Fantasy 5, 2, 6, 7, 13, 22. And Lotto, 13, 17, 33, 34, 40, and 49. How's it going to look in the morning, Jen? It's going to look really cold outside. It's going to be 39 in Tampa, areas to the north near freezing 32 degrees in Brooksville, 31 in Inverness, near Sebring around 38 degrees. Along the beaches, though, maybe 43, not so bad, but... In the afternoon, 65, and we'll get warmer. Okay. You should see the look she's giving me right now. <laughs> <laughs> she doesn't want it to be cold. No, we were wanting the cold. Now that we have it, it's like, it's too cold. So it's Christmas time, so that's good. Okay, uh, in our nightcap, despite very chilly temperatures, lots of folks turned out for the annual Sarasota Holiday Parade.